Hello again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 6th of February, 2019. How many of us remember the Brett Kavanaugh and Christine Blaisley Ford seven day fiasco? Huh? As soon as President Trump nominated Brett Kavanaugh for the Supreme Court, the Democrats produced Christine Blaisley Ford who accused Brett Kavanaugh of sexually assaulting her when she was 15. What's that, 35, 40 years ago? Huh? Remember that? And uh, Democrats demanded a thorough investigation. Hmm. And what ended up happening? Well, what ended up happening was Brett Kavanaugh became a Supreme Court Justice and Christine Blasley Ford made well over a million dollars that was donated to her by whacked out dumbass Democrats. Now we've got a different scenario going in Virginia. The governor, Ralph Northam, doesn't appear to be willing to want to step down. He might be forced out of office. He might be impeached. Now if he's impeached the next in line is Justin Fairfax. Right now he's the lieutenant governor. A woman came out and accused Justin Fairfax of inappropriate sexual activity when he was running for the lieutenant governor position. Nobody believed her. There was no investigation. There was no hearing. And she resurfaced again when it appeared that if Ralph Northam does get pushed aside or steps down, Justin Fairfax will become governor. Now a governor's position isn't as key and important as someone on the Supreme Court, but it's damn well important. A lot of people that have reached the position of a governor end up in the White House or down close to the White House. What really has to happen is, as the women say, when a woman accuses a man of that kind of activity, they have to be believed. So why is no one believing this woman that Justin Fairfax grabbed her by the neck and forced her head down between his legs I said she should have bit down on his salami, but she didn't. Why again isn't anyone believing her when they believed Christine Blaisley Ford, who said she was a doctor, and it turns out she wasn't a doctor. She actually worked for who? Well, she worked for the CIA. And what do we know about the CIA? They're corrupt criminal dysfunctional organization. What this shows you is how left-sided everything truly is. If we're supposed to believe a woman that says she's been sexually assaulted, why don't we believe her? Why do we believe Justin Fairfax? Hmm? It's something to think about. What really has to happen is a similar kind of congressional hearing has to take place. The woman needs to come forward and tell her side of the story. As I also said in one of my other previous videos that I posted, what really should also happen is both of them should be subjected to a polygraph. I'm willing to bet that Justin Fairfax would not agree to that. The woman will, or would, but Justin won't, because I believe it to be true. As I also said in that previous video, the woman met him at a Democratic convention, which tells me she's a Democrat. Unlike that bullshit scenario with Caesar, who supposedly sent fake bombs to all these whacked up Democrats, all that did was swing a lot of people's votes towards Democrats prior to the midterms. 
Where's Caesar now? Hmm. <laughs> I did countless videos on that, but that's a different story. Folks, what really has to happen, as I said, is they have to have a thorough and complete congressional hearing. The woman needs to come forward. Justin Fairfax needs to tell his side. As I also said in that other video, I got to believe what he did wasn't just a one-off incident. There's other women that need to come forward. And this guy needs to get kicked at a curb, as does Ralph Northam. You might want to repost this in your social media accounts. You might want to pass it along to your like-minded friends and ask them to do the same. Ask your congressional representative, when's the hearing going to take place? Hmm?